Good morning, guys. Um, it's Big Rob. Just a guy over 50, nothing special. Just uh, kind of hanging around outside, enjoying the weather here in Maine. Um, just got back from the gym. Myself, <clears throat> oh, no. energy drink. Um, had me some breakfast. And I'm pouring over news reports about a man in Arvada who was in the Arvada Army Navy surplus, heard some gunshots outside, uh, saw that a police officer was being ambushed by a disgruntled douchebag. Um, and so I guess he sounds like he pulled his concealed weapon and engaged the suspect, uh, ultimately shooting him, uh, but not before that guy was able to kill a police officer. Uh, moreover, the police officers who responded, um, and I'm not sure of the circumstances, but somehow the guy who probably saved a number of lives was gunned down by the Arvada PD. And um, I, I don't know what to think about this uh, because there are tons of people in the state of Colorado having lived there for over a decade um, who concealed carry and who open carry. And um, this guy sounds like he was a good dude. And I uh, saw some newscasts where some people were talking about him, what kind of guy he was, that he was a protector, a sheepdog, uh, and believed very strongly in his constitutional rights uh, that were clearly violated. So, um, I guess, you know, I'm trying to think about the lesson that a person could take away from something like this, an experience like this. Uh, <clears throat> I thought that the police department was supposed to exercise some fucking restraint. And, you know, before you pull the trigger on somebody, I thought you were supposed to evaluate the situation and make decisions based on uh, good thinking, critical thinking. But that doesn't sound like that's what happened here. And I don't know anything about this particular Arvada police officer. Uh, and in fact, you know, my experience working EMS in Arvada, uh, there's uh, quite a bit of shit going on in that town most days. So um, anyway, the guy runs out of the Army Navy surplus, or maybe he's in the parking lot, hears gunshots, goes to, moves to engage the subject who's doing the killing, uh, gets him, uh, and then is subsequently shot by the Arvada PD. Uh, thank you. You know, I don't know what to say, uh, dude. Uh, thank you for stepping up. Thank you for being a man. Thank you for exercising your constitutional rights to carry. Uh, and thank you for being a protector and a sheepdog. I guess if I had to say there was a lesson that you could take away from this as a private citizen, perhaps the next time you hear shots, uh, if they're not directly engaging you, ignore it. Run away. You know, don't pull your weapon uh, because ultimately you are going to get arrested. If they hadn't killed him, they would have arrested him. Uh, he probably would have spent days in jail, had to, um, you know, find a lawyer. I think he would have preferred that, though, over being shot by the police in cold blood. So this is not an indictment of the entire Arvada Police Department. It was a B. Look at him go. Not an indictment of the entire Arvada Police Department, but perhaps maybe you step up your training and uh, not put these guys out there. I don't, I don't know. Again, I don't know anything about this guy or his history. Um, is he a hothead, trigger happy hothead? I mean, who knows? Uh, but the only reason the news isn't really talking about it is because the, uh, the guy he shot was white. If he was black, it'd be all over the national news by now. And uh, we'd all be just going, oh, Jesus, not again, you know? But um, yeah, I think the lesson here is in Colorado, if you hear gunshots and you see people getting shot down, don't pull your weapon. You know, gather up your family or the people that you care about and move away from the situation. Uh, if you are actively engaged, if these guys are shooting at you, obviously you're going to defend yourself, but you know, uh, just don't do it. Not in Colorado. Don't be a good guy in Colorado is what I'm saying, because the police will just shoot you down for it. So anyway, I think that's all I have to say on the subject. Uh, I'm going to get out of here, maybe do a hike today. Uh, it's a great day. It's getting warmer. Uh, the water looks amazing. Might get out on a kayak ride. Who knows? But, um, you guys take care of yourself. You uh, 2A guys and gals who support the Second Amendment and your right to defend yourselves, take care of yourselves. But just know, if you do, if you take care of yourself uh, in one of these situations, you will be arrested. Uh, you'll have to hire a lawyer. You'll have to defend yourself. Uh, you'll probably have to sue the police department to get your firearm back. Uh, but they'll find a reason to keep it, you know, uh, because that's just the lay of the land now. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, it's just Big Rob. Just a guy over 50, nothing special. You guys have a good day. Take care of yourself. Love each other.